Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of The Story in the Song, a show that features musical artists with a story to tell. I'm your host, Daryl Halliman, and our guest for today's program is Steve Petro. Hey, Steve, how are you? Okay, yourself, Daryl. Oh, I'm doing very well. Okay. I saw on your business card it says Human Jukebox. You got it. Why do they call you the Human well, they Jukebox? They just plug me into the wall socket and I just play, keep on playing, you see. Now, I do over 700 songs, um, and uh, so it's basically almost, uh, I can do a karaoke live if I wanted to. So anywhere from Sinatra to uh, Led Zeppelin. So. That's awesome. Well, you do over 700 cover songs, and uh, how many original songs do you oh, have? Oh, probably about 50 or so. That's great. You know, That's great. I've got an album also that I've got out. Okay. What's uh, uh, Want to tell folks where they can find that album? Uh, it's on my website. I have no idea what it is. I got so many of those damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's on Reverb Nation, Steve Petrovich. So, okay. Something like that. So, uh, how long have you been uh, playing music? What inspired you to pick up a guitar? Oh, you know, grew up with the Beatles and all that. I guess I was in grammar school. My parents gave me a, uh, a used electric guitar and a little dinky amplifier, so I started there. And uh, I didn't really care for that because, <clears throat> well, you know, you're on your own. So I didn't really have any brothers or sisters, so I got myself... Uh, in high school, an acoustic guitar from a friend of mine for 50 bucks in uh, uh, Dorado. And then uh, from there at the point on, I just uh, started finger picking and doing things on my own. So that's how I got into finger picking. Well, most of my stuff is finger picking. Okay. And by the way, folks, uh, he does some beautiful uh, interpretations of many different types of songs uh, with uh, finger picking that makes it. Uh, Kind of, you, you own yeah. the, the songs that you do. You make it your own style, right? That's right. Unfortunately, we can't. I can't do any right now because of uh, copyright uh, situations. But uh, there's some some good ones. Last night at an open mic, I did uh, uh, Daniel uh, from uh, um, Elton John on, on the uh, guitar, and that worked out really nice. You know, so we. It's my own arrangement, so. Okay. Unfortunately, Steve, we're just going to have to feature uh, one of your original tunes. Um, sounds good. So you want to wanna tell us about this first song that you're doing? Well, this one here is when I was in college. I would play around at a lot of the local bars, and I had an opportunity to play over at um, Earl of Old Town. <clears throat> and so it was uh, around Christmas time. I remember sitting up there on the stage, and you know, people at the bar, the snow coming down about the size of a quarter, just coming down real slow. Uh, really inspired me, and then I saw. Uh, remember the big marathon um, taxi taxis they had? You know, when you sit in the back seat, you have to change the, uh, the time on your watch because of a different time zone. So uh, yeah, I remember being, you know, a little kid, and you're sitting on. There's like a little bar stool in there too, and you're flipping around. It's so you know. It was a, so that reminded me of a lot of things. So I uh, wrote this song uh, to Chicago when I was. Uh, playing at the bar, and um, I think it came out pretty well. So, let me go ahead and uh, do it. Without <coughs> further ado, here is To Chicago. What would you tell me if I had a silver dollar Spending all my money Sit down at the bar In the distance up ahead The small stage can be seen Bright lights, what a sight Music soon begins To Chicago To Chicago To Chicago Guitar in my hand To Chicago To Chicago Guitar in my hand Finger picking strings of steel Music you can feel Open up those ears of yours And let the night begin Cold beer in your left hand A woman on your right Clap your hands in an you'll feel good tonight To Chicago, to Chicago, to Chicago Guitar in 
in my hand to Chicago to Chicago to Chicago guitar in my hand Guitar in my hand to Chicago, to Chicago, to Chicago. Guitar in my hand. It's three in the morning. Last round is a calling. Bartender, see my cup. Why don't you fill it up? It must be cold outside. The wind is a blowing. Flag down the yellow can to take me home tonight To Chicago, to Chicago, to Chicago Guitar in my hand To Chicago, to Chicago, to Chicago Guitar in my hand Guitar in my hand to Chicago, to Chicago, to Chicago. Guitar in my hand. What would you tell me if I had a silver dollar? There you go. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Obviously, uh, that song covers the subject matter of Chicago. What are what are your what are some of your favorite places? Maybe perhaps venues that you've played at or went to see shows, or just just places in the in the Chicagoland area that you love to go to. Well, it's mostly uh, here in the suburbs. I really don't like going to Chicago because uh, you know parking costs as much as as much you get paid for. No, but uh, oh yeah, yeah, I do a lot a lot around here and. Uh, I enjoy going to some of the open mics, uh, you know, um, utilize, do some new songs that uh, y you might, you know, work on. Go to Northside Bar, and uh, Mullins used to be a good one. Uh, now I think it's a church parking lot. Uh, lost Revenue. Uh, and then a few other places I go to, but um, I, I play over 100 uh, shows a year, so I'm, I'm all over the place. Well, folks, if, uh, if you can't tell already, uh, we are in the Chicagoland area here in uh, River Sunstone Studios in Western Springs, Illinois. We're from the suburbs. We're kind of Chicago-centric. Right. Uh, but anyways, um, so you, you've always lived in Chicago? Uh, basically, I grew up in uh, North Amy Austin in about fifth grade, moved out to Elmhurst, so you know, from Elmhurst uh, Basically, it's where I say I'm from, York uh, High School, Elmhurst College. You know. Now I live in Downers Grove. Well, to, to anybody outside of uh, the Chicagoland area, it's, it's all Chicago to them. Yeah, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Elmhurst as oh, well. Okay. Or actually, I, I just moved to Elmhurst. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. It's, it's kind of in between the city and the further western suburbs. Mm -hmm. But anyways... Uh, Let's, uh, aside from being a musician, what are your other interests and hobbies? Oh, I uh, love uh, riding motorcycles. I used to have a bunch of vets and old cars, and uh, I got rid of those now. Now I'm just riding the vets, uh, or riding a vet. Yeah, really good there, huh? <laughs> riding the Harley around. It's been great, uh, great September, so uh, lovely uh, riding at night, so. That's a, it's, yeah, I got a good deal on it. I got an XL 1200 and just gets me around all over the place. It's really easy to ride and uh, it's, a, it's a great bike. Always love Harleys anyway, so can't beat that. Excellent. Uh, let's uh, move on to another song, shall we? What, uh, 
What do we have next on the list? Uh, this one is called Good Morning City Blues, and I wrote this years ago when I uh, uh, worked in Chicago. Uh, hopped in a cold car, got warmed up, got out of the car, walked about a mile to the train station, you know, from the parking lot, and then got in, a, got in the car, you know, the train cars, and then had to stand and go, go all the way down to Chicago probably in 20 minutes, but uh, and I just hated going down to Chicago on that. So anyway, one day I get out and uh, I see this, it's about July, and this one guy, uh, he's wearing a trench coat, but it's about 90 degrees outside, and it looks like Kramer. He had this head of hair, which was, you know, about, about this high. So he's coming towards us as we're coming out of the train station. He had uh, P PF flyers. Remember those PF flyers when we were growing up? Uh, one was black, one was red, and uh, the guy looked like he was, uh, well, <laughs> you want to try to avoid him. But as he came up to you, he put his hands in the front, and he was, I go, oh, no, he's not going to do that, is he? Expose himself. Opens it up. He says, uh, the watches on the left-hand sides are, are, are for the ladies, and the watches on the right-hand side are for men. So uh, I proceeded to buy a watch from him, you know. Nice. Uh, anyway. were, were, were they nice watches, knockoffs? Uh, knockoffs, of course, you know. <laughs> did you, did you give it bucks. to a lady friend or just uh, get one for yourself or a no, friend? I, I got it for myself, but uh, um, I was at a bar like two weeks later, and uh, the guy goes, hey, I like your, uh, your, your Rolex watch. Uh, you know, like it's running backwards. And I'm looking, looking at it. As, it was running backwards and it was going like this, you know. So guess what? I left him as a tip. Yeah. <laughs> the Rolex watch. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, you got a watch and a song out of the deal. You got it. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of crazy people there. Um, you know, ladies, uh, they were just pushing their carts, uh, supermarket carts with all their belongings on there. I mean, you go to Chicago, you see all that. Uh, probably worse other places like San Francisco. But uh, so I wrote a song about... Uh, Ain't got no dime Good morning 
city blue I said, good morning, city blues. I said, good morning, city blues. I said, good morning, city blues. I really like that one. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, that was... Uh, that kind of painted a picture in my <laughs> mind of, of you going to work, you know, just uh, what it's like to, to kind of just commute out to the city and right. run into just all sorts of uh, interesting and colorful characters uh, that, that make up our great home, Chicago land. Before we do one more song, I'd like to ask you, um, what, uh, what inspires you to, to keep on playing and making music? Oh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's in my blood, I guess, but it's basically, uh, if I hear something, something unique, I'm trying to do it my way, arrangements, that's what kind of keeps me going, you know, I just like doing things a little bit differently, a lot of finger picking, so, uh, it might be a strumming song, but I'll, I'll do it in a finger picking fashion, but, uh, so, not, you know, about 80% of my stuff is finger picking, but it all depends. So, do you do it more for yourself, or do you... Do you love to, do do you love entertaining people as well? Well, I do a lot for myself. It's a challenge. To see what you come up with, what kind of arrangements. But I do enjoy uh, entertaining, especially uh, you know when people come up to me and ask me about something and say, "Hey, could you play that?" Fine, you know, I'll, I'll do it. And then especially if it's, it means something to them, you know, oh, it's my my husband just died and he played that song and it was you know that that to me is the um, uh, that makes my day. You like connecting yeah. with the oh, audience yeah, on an emotional right, and uh, right. perhaps intellectual level yes, as well. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Works out really nice. Well, that's, that's great. Uh, uh, we're very glad that you're making music for yourself and sharing it with others. I think uh, it's important to not only entertain but to, to move people. Right, right, right. Music is just the soul of everything, you know. If, uh, if we had um, music as a religion, we have, uh, we have a great great world I think <laughs> <laughs> I agree I agree um, so uh, let's do uh, one more song you want to tell us what uh, this next one well, is about this, this is a, a song uh, we got with this girl for the first time and we were in uh, we were in um, Milwaukee I wrote this one for for Lauren here and uh, it was it was actually raining in, in Milwaukee and uh, walking out there so it's uh, this one's for you Lauren
in the rain, walking in the rain, hey, hey, walking in the rain, walking in the rain. And while we walk down that road once again, walking in the rain, 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 walking in the rain. That was sublime. Thank you very much. You got a dictionary I can uh, look it up? No. <laughs> uh, Steve, thank you for sharing your stories and your music with us. And thank you uh, to the audience at, at home. Uh, please check out Steve's music online. So He's got much. an album coming out. And if you like this uh, video or if you like uh, this podcast, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, that's it for the story and the song. We'll see you guys next week with a brand new artist with a brand new story to tell. Thank you, and have a good one. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thanks for having me here. <laughs>